I suspect the majority of Range Rover Velar owners will never take their vehicles seriously off-road, but actually there's no reason why not. It's in auto mode on the optional terrain response to, and it's effortlessly setting up the vehicle systems to optimize available traction. As I pull off the paved highway onto this gravel road, you can see how it's so sure-footed as it adapts to this new surface. Velar is a true Range Rover with all the same breadth of all-terrain capability. It has an impressive wading depth of 25.5 inches, great vehicle geometry, the optional all-terrain progress control, and on this, terrain response too. So like all Range Rover vehicles, it really has off-road capability at its core. Up ahead, there's a rocky track where the surface, let's just say, is a little more challenging than this gravel track. Velar, I'm sure, will cope easily in auto mode, but I'm just gonna slip it into mud and ruts here. As I do that, the air suspension raises automatically to the off-road height. Here I go. Just going along this track, the vehicle geometry in these tricky situations is key. And with an approach angle of 29 degrees, with the air suspension fully raised, a departure angle of 30 degrees, and a breakover angle of 24, Velar seems extremely capable in these rather tricky conditions. That active locking differential gives excellent traction to the rear wheels when the articulation is at its max. That's really impressive. Composed and assured gave me a lot of confidence. Let's head back to the road.